what are some other areas that I could live without that I didn't realize that I also wouldn't notice? There might be more savings there for you. So maybe home workouts instead of the gym, maybe movie nights in instead of movie nights out, maybe backyard dinners instead of restaurants, maybe reading instead of paying the cable bill, you name it. When you get creative, I know you're going to realize a lot of savings. Welcome, everybody. This is For the Love of Money, where we are making you unapologetic about your pursuit of success by sharing the tools, tips, and stories of those who have already made it. My name is Chris Harder, and each week I will bring you incredible guests in order to prove that when good people make good money, they do great things. Hey, everybody, welcome back to another amazing episode of For the Love of Money. It's another Money Monday where we talk about all things, how to grow your money, make more money, and what to do with your money. And today, we're actually going to concentrate on how much money quarantine has saved you. Yes. So here's where this comes from. Lori and I were talking the other day, and we just randomly started listing all the crazy ways that we realized we're accidentally saving money ever since COVID hit, and we've all been forced into quarantine or partial quarantine. Now, we know that quarantine has taken a horrible toll on this country and its business owners and its working class, and and that's tragic and that's real. And I know that there have been, and currently still are, like various degrees of quarantine. You know, Some are still super locked down. Some are hardly locked down based on where you live right now. But not one part of the country has been spared from some of your normal activities being cut or restricted. Now, you could continue to concentrate on the struggle that everybody has faced in 2020. But if you listen to me regularly, then you know I'm the opposite of that. I am all about the silver lining. Because if you look hard enough, there is always a silver lining. And here's the truth. Your life will always either be the sum of the silver linings you choose to see or the sum of the missed opportunities you see. So choose wisely. Let me repeat that. That's really important. Your life is always going to be either the sum of the silver linings that you see or the sum of the missed opportunities that you see. Choose your views wisely. So we choose to focus on the silver linings. And one of the silver linings for COVID for us has been that we realize we have a lot of accidental savings in our spending that have shown up. Some of the ways that Lori and I realized that we were saving money, and disclaimer here, Disclaimer, you know, I'm always super transparent with you guys on the show, right? So you can learn from us. And I understand that everybody is at different financial chapters in their financial story. So as I share these, don't get lost in our numbers. Start thinking of your own numbers. If anything, let our numbers either inspire you or give you a really good laugh. Either one. (laughs) All right. So when you're calculating, these monthly savings I'm about to share, your accidental savings as I term it, you have to use 4.33 weeks in a month, not four weeks in a month because there's actually 4.33 weeks in every single average month. If you took 52 weeks in a year and you divide it by 12 months, that's 4.33. So if you're going to do this along with me, which I highly encourage, I want you to take your weekly savings and take it times 4.33 to get your monthly savings. So here's some of the many areas we realized that we were accidentally saving money. Lori and I used to go to Soul Cycle three times a week minimum. We loved it. We loved the community there. We loved the teachers there. But sadly, when COVID hit and quarantine started, then sadly it was closed and we had to stop going. So three times a week for each Lori and I, By the time we rented shoes and bought waters in class, it was $70 per time, which was $210 per week, which times 4.33 to get your monthly savings. We realized we were saving $900 a month just by not going to SoulCycle. And we're like, whoa, that's insane. Our Equinox gym membership was absurd. This is a new savings, an additional one. Yes. I get that. You know what it costs to go to a really nice gym in some of the bigger cities is kind of crazy. 
but our membership was $540 a month for the two of us as a couple to go to Equinox. This is separate from SoulCycle, by the way. Plus, I had an awesome personal trainer. Freaking loved him. His name was Abe. And I used to go see him three times a week. But when COVID hit, Equinox was closed. And I stopped going to not only Equinox and, and turned off our membership, but also I had stopped going to a trainer. Now, my personal training was $175 per session, three times a week. So guys, if you add together the $540 a month for our membership and the $175 a week, three times a week, that's another $2,800 a month we're saving by, not, by now working out at home. So that's just those two alone is $3,700 a month in fitness that we're saving by taking our fitness home. That's a silver lining to me. Now, close. We don't go anywhere anymore that requires dresses and shoes for Lori or speaking and networking outfits for me. And each of us were spending easily $500 a week on picking up some things here and picking up some things there when we had events coming up, dinners coming up, you name it. And we actually had this one store called Planet Blue right on our block in Santa Monica that would seriously cost us about $1,000 per week in dog walks. Yes, you heard that right. Because the store was clever. They had dog treats in there that our dogs would pull, pull, pull to go in. And when we went in, well, once we were in there, you know, we're walking out with new clothes each. So that is a savings. If you look at $500 each per week on clothes times 4.33 weeks per month, that's another savings of an additional $4,300 a month. Crazy, right? Dining out is another area. We used to dine out a lot. And I individually used to dine out a lot on top of Lori and I going out. I would have a guy's dinner or we would have a dinner out at least twice a month, usually four times a month between those two things. And you know, between getting really nice wines when I was with the guys or going to really nice epic restaurants, it'd be very common to drop $400, $500, or $1,000 each time depending on the circumstance. Remember, don't judge. You got to find yourself in the story here. Everyone's at different financial chapters. So if you do the math, that's $1,000 to $2,000 a month in saving for, from not dining out anymore. Because in California anyways, all of our restaurants don't have in-room dining anymore. You can dine in a limited fashion out on the street, you know, like on the sidewalk and stuff. But really, the idea of going into a restaurant and spending much money there has, has gone away for the past several months. And quite honestly, we've now replaced this with backyard meals and parties for much cheaper. You know, now we like to invite people over and entertain in our backyard. So that's another area where we found a savings of, you know, one to two thousand dollars a month. Valet parking, you guys, little things sneak up on you that you don't realize. And I share these so you can start using these as kind of like what's sneaking up on you. Valet parking. There is no easy parking in LA or Santa Monica area. So we would valet at the gym three times a week. We'd valet at, at every restaurant, every mall, you name it. And we gave at least $20 every time that we valet parked. So that was an easy 100 or more per week in valet, which is another $430 a month or more. So what does this add up to for accidental savings for Lori and I? This adds up to $9,400 to $10,400 a month or more. $9,400 to $10,400 a month or more in accidental savings for us. That is one hell of a silver lining. And these are just the things that came to the top of my mind that added up on a regular basis. You start adding in airline tickets because we used to fly all the time, but we don't fly anymore. Hotels, Ubers, car service, excursions, getaways. It's crazy. And like I said before, I don't share these for you to judge. I share these for you to either be inspired that we had an extra 10 grand a month in random spending or to at least get a laugh out of it But more importantly, for you to start doing this exercise yourself. Because the real point here is all about you. You cannot be grateful for what you don't acknowledge. So do this exercise. I mean, really sit and add up what you've been saving now that you've been in quarantine or partial quarantine. And choose to see that number as a silver lining. See it as newfound abundance and celebrate it in order to attract more. Remember, your life is either the sum of your silver linings or the sum of your missed opportunities, which one are you going to concentrate on? And now here's the important part. Once you know what your number is, and by the way, you guys have to do me a huge favor. Tag me on Instagram or DM me with what your accidental savings number is each month. I love seeing these. I'm Chris W. Harder on Instagram. Seriously, slide in my DMs. Let me know what you're saving when you hear this. So now 
you got to take it a step further and ask yourself two important questions now that you know how much you've found in accidental savings. Question number one is how many of these accidental savings can I continue to live without? What are some other areas that I could live without that I didn't realize that I also wouldn't notice? There might be more savings there for you. So maybe home workouts instead of the gym, maybe movie nights in instead of movie nights out, maybe backyard dinners instead of restaurants, maybe reading instead of paying the cable bill, you name it. When you get creative, I know you're going to realize a lot of savings. Number two, ask yourself this. Where could I put this savings in order to make it grow even more? This is where I always teach the money you earn are the seeds. You need to plant them in order to live off of an abundant crop, right? So where could I... Put this savings to make it grow even more. You could pay off debt with intention if you have a lot of unsecured debt. After you get your debts paid off, you could fund your Roth IRA if you still qualify for one based on your earnings. If you don't qualify for one, then you start pouring it into a low fee index fund if you want. Or maybe you get your first rental property or get an additional one or invest in one. Or maybe you invest in a coach to grow your business faster. So for Lori and I, continuing our example, some of the places we've decided to add or to place our accidental savings was in a motorhome so that we can see more of the country and see family more often. That's very important to us. We bought a couple of Peloton bikes and some weights to replace SoulCycle in the gym so we can continue that savings. We've upped our contributions to our low-fee index funds. We're putting even more money into Lori's new alcohol brand, Light Pink, to grow that even faster. By the way, go check that out at lightpink.com, L-I-T-E, lightpink.com. That's super exciting that what she's building over there. We're investing another in another exciting startup with some other really cool founders that we're excited about. So we're taking this money and we're planting it as seeds and making it grow. Tell me, where are you going to plant your accidental savings? Again, seriously, DM me, tag me on Instagram. I want to know what you're saving and where you're going to plant them. Here's the bottom line. This is your chance. This is your big chance to plant some seeds that will grow into an epic crop for you and your family and your future. Don't go back to your old ways. The tough part has already been done. The Band-Aid has been torn off for some of you. You were forced into these savings. So now, calculate them, appreciate them, and redirect them with intention immediately. I want to remind you of Newton's third law. Newton's third law says this. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. And in this case, in 2020, quarantines hitting us all was the action And the equal and opposite reaction is that you now have some unexpected savings that you can redirect and grow your future with. And by the way, not all growth of your future takes money. I mean, heck, you can learn four ways that Lori and I view and treat our money by simply going to fortheloveofmoney.com forward slash free. Guys, free. I put out free resources for you. Fortheloveofmoney.com forward slash free to learn how four ways that Lori and I view our money and treat our money. If you like this kind of stuff that you're listening to right now, you're going to love the video trainings that are there. So go check them out for the lovemoney.com forward slash free. But remember this, finding unexpected savings is the same thing as making or creating new money. And you know what I already say about that. When good people just like you make good money, they can then do great things. Thank you for listening. DM me with your savings. Tell me where you're going to redirect it. Share your breakthroughs. I absolutely love when we make this an interactive community. In the meantime, thanks for listening and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for listening. And if you loved this episode and know of someone else who is as successful as they are generous, please pass them on to me. It would mean the world to me if you help me get this cause and this message out to as many listeners as I can. So please, if you liked what you heard, it goes a long way if you take 30 seconds and leave me a five-star review and share this with your friends. I'll be forever grateful. And until the next episode, cheers to your success.